In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called writing an equation of a circle given the endpoints of a diameter. We're asked to find the equation of a circle whose diameter has the following endpoints coordinates. And to help think through this process, I'm first going to graph these coordinates. We have minus 1, 5, and then the point 3, 5. And we're told that these are the endpoints of the diameter of this circle. And to find the equation of the circle, which is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, we can see that we're going to need the center, which is our h and k, and we're going to need the radius, which is r. And depending on how complicated the problem is, we could use the midpoint formula, which is the average x value of the two points over 2, and then the average y, so also adding the y's over 2. This could give us the midpoint regardless of the two points that were given. However, for this example, since the two points that we have for the diameter are on the line, even visually we can tell that the center halfway in between these two points will be the coordinate positive 1, 5. And again, if that were not obvious, you could take the x1 values and y1 values and plug those in. And you could take the x2 and y2 values and plug those in. And we would get the center 1, 5. Likewise, the radius could be found by doing the distance formula, where d equals the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. And taking the square root of that, we would just have to be careful here that since we're looking for the distance, we would want to use the two points of the center, which we previously found, and then one of the two points at the end of the diameter. Using the distance formula would give us that length. But again, in this example, since our diameter is horizontal, we can visually look and see that the distance between the center and one of those endpoints is just two units. So our r is 2. And now that we have h and k and we have r, we can substitute into the general form. So the equation of the line is x minus h, which here is 1 squared, plus y minus k, which here is 5 squared equals the radius, which here is 2 squared. And then simplifying the right hand side, the formula is x minus 1 squared plus y minus 5 squared equals 4. And if these endpoints would have been more complicated, not on a horizontal or vertical line that made it easy for me to find the midpoint and the radius, just note that we could have used the midpoint formula and the distance formula to find those two values to plug into the standard form of the equation for a circle.